there is no God but reality itself. Taken from Listen to My Testament of Divine Secrets, Recitations from the Dawn Horse Testament for the Vishira Avatara Puja, The Revelation Word of His Divine Presence, Avatar Adidar Samraj. There is only real, a causal God. Real, a causal God is reality. Real, a causal God is the only reality. There is only reality. Reality is real, a causal God. Reality, and not what is merely myth, imagination, conventional belief, or philosophical idea, is real, a causal God. Reality itself is divine. Reality is conditionally apparent, but always only absolutely existing. Reality is all there is, and all that is, and even all and all that merely appears to be. Reality is one, only, indivisible, non-separate, intrinsically egoless, self-existing, self-ragent, always already freestanding, and prior to any and every possible point of view, and indestructible. Reality is the self-nature, self-condition, source-condition, and self-state of the world, the body, the mind, and separate self-consciousness. Reality is conscious light, which is consciousness itself, and energy itself, one and indivisible. Conscious light is the totality of apparent world, body, mind, and separate self-consciousness, one and indivisible. Reality is. Reality is that which is. Whatever it appears to be, reality is what is. Reality is real, a course of God. Real, a causal God is what is. There is no God but reality itself. Whatever it is, reality is all there is. Reality itself is always already prior to any and every point of view in time or space or space-time. Reality itself is always already prior to anything and all that apparently arises. Reality itself is not the relation of anything that apparently arises. There is not anything that arises or ever possibly could arise in relation to reality itself. There is no possible point of view standing toward or facing reality itself. Relative or in relation to reality itself, there is no point of view, no thing, no other, no relation. Reality itself is all there is. Reality itself, as the self-nature, self-condition, source condition, and self-state of all and all, is everything and everyone that appears to be. Whatever apparently arises as separate, related, greater or lesser, other or different, is only reality itself, always already prior to separateness, relatedness, otherness and difference. Therefore, there is no separateness, no relatedness, no greater or lesser other, and no difference. 
notwithstanding whatever is conditionally experienced or known or believed, reality is always and already. Only reality is real, a causal God. Reality is necessarily truth. Only truth is real, a causal God. Real, a causal God is reality and truth. Real, a causal God is the God of reality and truth. Real, a causal God is the God that is reality and truth. Reality and truth is that which is always already the case. Real, a causal God is that which is always already the case. Therefore, real, a causal God need not be sought. Real, a causal God is only avoided by any kind of seeking. To seek is to fail to admit and to realise real a causal God, or that which is always already the case. Real a causal God is realised only by self-locating that which is always already the case. To self-locate that which is always already the case is to realise non-separation and non-differentiation from that which is always already the case. To self-locate and thus and thereby to realise that which is always already the case is to transcend the ego I and even all that is merely conditional, limited, temporal, spatial, other, separate or different. To sublocate and thus and thereby to realise that which is always already the case is merely inherently and in heavenly perfectly to be that which is always already the case. To be that which is always already the case is perfectly prior to the ego I and all conditions to be reality and truth. To be reality and truth is perfectly prior to the ego I and all conditions to be real, a causal God, as opposed to that which is otherwise, and by myth and error, sought as God. Therefore, real a causal God is not other, separate or different. Real a causal God or the a causal divine person, which is reality or truth, or that which is always already the case, is always already, inherently and inherently perfectly, prior to the who, the what, the that, the where, the when, the how, and the why, that is by conditional experience or conditional knowledge or conditional belief presumed to be really and only other, separate or different. Therefore, real a causal God is always already prior to the ego I. Indeed, Real a causal God is always already prior to each and every conditionally attained experience or form of knowledge or form of belief. Reality itself is the only real a causal God. Reality itself is that which is always already the one and only case. Reality itself is necessarily one, only and indivisible. Reality itself is inherently one or non-dual and not two or divisible and opposed to itself. Reality itself is not one of a pair. Reality itself is not characterised by the inherently dualistic relationship of cause and effect. Reality itself is characterised by the inherently non-dualistic equation of identity and non-difference. Reality itself is that in which both cause and effect arise as merely apparent modifications 
of itself. The reality itself is not realized by the inherently dualistic relationship of subject and object. The reality itself is realized as the inherently non-dualistic condition of intrinsically egoless identity and inherently objectless non-difference. Duh.